Today I'm going to show you how I painted a larger version of this exact table and gave it a new look. I used this product for the first time from Rustoleum, along with this limited edition color from Dixie Bell. I started with the legs first. I made sure to clean them well to remove any dust and debris before applying any products. This is hammered from Rustoleum in the color copper. This color has a beautiful shimmer to it and I can't wait for you to see how it turned out. It seemed like a perfect product to use for this piece and it even states it can be used for indoor or outdoor purposes. It's fairly easy to use and I applied it the same way I would paint. It can be purchased at most hardware stores or at most stores with a hardware aisle. Hammered also comes in spray paint form and in a variety of colors. The way the sun was hitting this color while I was painting made it even more vibrant. I did a total of two coats of hammered on all of the table legs. I brought the table back inside and the first thing I did was use white lightning cleaner for the tabletop. This is a crucial part of the process and should never be overlooked. After cleaning it with white lightning or TSP, it's important to use water next to remove the cleaner and any residue. It's okay to repeat this process. And after that, I thoroughly dried it and I used a piece of 180 grit sandpaper. It's important to sand with the grain of the wood and I only did a light sanding, so not a lot of pressure was used. Next I used a clean towel to wipe off the dust from sanding and started applying the primer. In order for the paint to have a more smooth appearance and to help prevent chipping, I almost always apply primer. priming your piece, you can typically use a brush or a roller. This time, I decided to try both. I've been so excited to try this limited edition color from Dixie Belle in the color Juniper. It's a lovely earthy green, and it's safe to say I definitely love this color and all colors close to it. This is my first time applying Dixie Belle using a roller, and honestly I'm not sure what took me so long to try it this way. It seemed to make painting a larger piece easier, and it went on really smooth. If you've watched any of my other DIY videos, you can probably tell I'm partial to Dixie Belle paint, but honestly I love how easy it is to use. They do offer another type of paint in a very similar color, which is an all-in-one product that I painted my front door and some bathroom cabinets in. To get into the details of this piece, I went in with a brush. Because this paint works well with water, I sprayed the brush and the paint, which made getting into the grooves even easier.
another coat all over and I love the way this color turned out. I think it pairs nicely with the copper legs. And for the final product on the piece, I used Dixie Belle's top coat in satin. I applied a total of two coats to the tabletop only. This top coat is really nice and gives the paint a subtle shine. And one last time, here it is without the paint, and here it is all complete. Let me know what you think of the color combination. Because of the sturdiness of this table, I think it would make a great addition for either inside or outside underneath a covered patio. Please consider liking this video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching this and take care.